And now, your first alert five weather. And welcome back everyone. As expected, a warmer day here in Southern Colorado. I mentioned that it was the warmest day that we had seen since last Wednesday during a first look at my forecast. And here's the almanac page for today. 60 in Pueblo after a low of 10. That's a big spread of 50 degrees in Colorado Springs. We went from 13 this morning to a high today of 56, which is the climate's logical average based on the last 30 years of data. Right now, due to these longer days and later sunsets, it's still in the mid to upper 50s here in Colorado Springs. And I gotta say, I just love our live cam view from our Rock Rimmon Studios. This right here, of course, Pikes Peak, America's Mountain. If you look closely, that right there, right next to my finger, that is the new Summit House. It's been open for a couple of years. The elevation of Pikes Peak, 14,000. 115 feet above sea level right now in Pueblo. We're also sitting in the upper 50s, still under mostly sunny skies, but that is expected to change later tonight. My friends, as the first in a series of storms moves out of California and brings some big changes to Colorado early this week. Now, mountain area is expected to bear the brunt of these next few waves of energy, whereas the plains probably won't see a ton of excitement over the next couple of days. Now we do have winter storm warnings, winter storm watches, winter weather advisories all highlighted on this graphic, including the northern Sangres, where we could pick up more than a foot of snow through Thursday. The highest amounts expected in the San Juans, where they could see as much as two to four feet of new snow out towards Wolf Creek Pass by the time Thursday afternoon rolls around. So for the high country, if you're traveling there, could be hazardous, could be quite dangerous. There could be some road closures due to those big amounts of snow over the next couple of days. You can see for the plains, not really expecting much through the lunch hour. The model wants to bring a little bit of shower activity off of the mountains. Anytime from the mid afternoon through late evening hours, I think most of us stay dry. But again, don't be surprised if you see a stray or spotty shower, especially Palmer Divide out towards Teller County. That's probably the area of greatest probability or likelihood when it comes to the plains or the lower elevations. For Monday, the hour by hour, we warm all the way to 57 in the springs. And given how warm today was, I'm going to reanalyze some stuff. I might bump up these numbers a bit for the 10 o'clock news. Right now, I have Pueblo warming to around 63. So the snowflakes will continue to fly in the mountains from Monday night through Tuesday evening. Again, heaviest where you see the dark blue, anywhere between Pitkin County down into the San Juans and Lagaritas. Maybe a bit of a break Wednesday afternoon as that energy moves off to the northeast. And here again, Wednesday could see a few spotty showers. Now, it be warm across the I-25 corridor, so it would likely fall as rain rather than snow. But again, doesn't look to be a big deal at all. Maybe a similar story Thursday up towards Teller County with some more light snow showers in your forecast. All right, overnight lows tonight down to the teens, maybe some single digits in the mountain areas, 20s to low 30s for the rest of us. Highs tomorrow, a mix of 40s, 50s, and 60s. So I think we'll tack on a couple of degrees tomorrow. We'll see that again on Tuesday and Wednesday. And tomorrow, if you're keeping track, that is the spring equinox at 324 here. Mountain daylight time. That means pretty much equinox. The word is equal day and equal night. And we still get a ton of snow this time of the year, as we all know. Average spring snowfall in the springs, just under 12 inches. There's that isolated shower mentioned Wednesday. Possibly another storm chance we're eyeballing out towards next week. For Pueblo, fairly dry and windy Tuesday to Wednesday. Other than an isolated shower, strong winds, probably the big story. Cool behind that cold front with maybe a mixed chance in the forecast by next weekend. For Canyon City, I've got us up near 60 by Tuesday. It'll be windy from Tuesday to Wednesday. 61 Wednesday afternoon, then steadily cooling beyond Wednesday night's cold front. Woodland Park, again, more persistent snow chances here, but each little wave that moves out of the mountains doesn't look to be a big snow producer. That's why you're seeing the ones out of fives on our, new, our first alert five storm impact scale. Stay tuned. We'll have more coming up after the break.